Hi everyone. Okay, it has been forever. I think it's been a couple of years now that I've been on YouTube chatting with you guys. Um, but over the past year, I have been collecting a lot of empties and I really wanna be able to show you guys, tell you what I think about them and hopefully be able to be helpful if you are looking for something similar. Um, but in terms of updates, we moved from Boston to New York. So we're in New York now um, in our apartment. It's a little messy. I didn't clean up for you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I'm staring out at the most beautiful view um, of the New York skyline. So we are very happy. Um, I'm at a, an amazing job that I love very much um, and just wanted to give you guys that update. And then in case you're wondering, let's see. Uh, she is still with us. She's still a very integral part of our life and I love her very much. But anyways, enough about Mochi. Let's get started on all of the empties that I have in front of me. So where do we start? Let's start off with hair products. So over the past year, I have used up so many Batiste dry shampoo. I can't even hold them all in my hands. Ooh, struggle. And then there's another one, actually two more that I can't hold. Um, I love these. These are, are all my all-time favorite dry shampoos. Um, the reason being, they're cheap, they are effective, they actually give your hair that gritty texture that a lot of shampoos, um, dry shampoos don't. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is the scent. So as you can see, I've tried so many different scents and I still haven't found one that I like because really I prefer my dry shampoos to not have any sort of smell. Um, and unfortunately, these all do. So this is the original, and then this is the Clean and Light in Bare. Um, and then this one's also in Bare. So this one, the, the Clean and Light Bare ones are a little bit better in that they don't, they're not as potent. But um, if you do like your shampoos to smell like something, the Neon Light, Pomegranate, and Jasmine, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, this one's actually really yummy smelling. So I actually really like the smell of this one. It's just, again, I really don't really like my shampoos to smell like anything. So, okay, I didn't plan this out. I need somewhere to put all of this stuff. Ugh. I'm just gonna stack them right there. Okay, um, another, or let me show you guys more dry shampoos. Sorry, so, um, another clean and light bear and then the original <laughs> so nothing new there just lots and lots of dry shampoos um, another dry shampoo that I tried because I've heard so many people talk about this um, and say that they love it is the Orbe gold lust dry shampoo um, it smelled amazing but it didn't give me the clean like oil sucking feeling that I really want in my dry shampoo. Um, it didn't hold my hair and give me that like volume that I really like. Um, and so it was just, it just didn't do as much as I wanted it to. And for the price, in my opinion, it's not worth it. So yeah, I'm still on the hunt for that perfect dry shampoo, but so far nothing yet. Um, Moving on to hair leave-in conditioners. So I've used the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy tri wheat Leave-In Conditioner. Over the past year, I've used up two bottles of this, um, and that's actually not only just using this, I tried, I've tried so many different kinds of leave-in conditioners, um, but these two are just two of the many, many, many that I've used up that I'll show you guys. But I really enjoy this. I will continue to repurchase this over and over and over again. I buy these on Amazon. They are amazing. And it says it's with soy and cocoa. But yeah, oh, they smell so good. But they're kind of gross because I leave them in the bathroom. But they're amazing. So definitely recommend the Healthy Sexy Hair. Okay, what else? Um, another hair product, the Shuimura 
Moisture Velvet Nourishing Conditioner for Dry Hair. Um, I used up this entire bottle, as you can see, and it smelled amazing. Um, I, I heard about this from Lydia Elise Millen. Love her. So going one of my favorite bloggers of all time. So she mentioned that this was incredible on her hair. For me, it was okay. I mean, I would have to use a lot of pumps, like 15 pumps, to get enough for all of my hair. Now, my hair is a lot shorter now. I recently chopped off seven inches, but before then, it took just too much of this product to make a difference. And so, I mean, again, it's really expensive. I don't know. I, I probably won't repurchase this. Um, Another hair conditioner that I've been using is the It's a 10 Miracle Deep Conditioner. I also use their It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin for both. Um, reason being, I find the, the Plus Keratin works really well on my hair and as you guys can see, it's been bleached, it's been damaged, it's been dried, it's just not good. Um, so I find these incredible um, on my hair. I don't use the deep conditioner as much as I use the leave-in conditioner because um, I trade out a lot of different conditioners when I'm in the shower, but I'm pretty consistent when I come out in terms of leave-in. So I use the soy one, I use this one, and there's another one that I will show you guys in a second that I use in terms of leave-in conditioner. And I really recommend this. Again, I think I have clearly bought this off of Amazon, and um, they're really great. All right, more hair conditioner. Ooh, sorry. Okay. Another hair conditioner, uh, leave-in conditioning spray is the uh, Briogeo, Bro, Briogeo, Briogeo, ugh, I'm butchering that, I'm so sorry, Briogeo Rosarco Ros Milk. Um, it's this bottle right here, and it's from Sephora. I absolutely love this. I am currently using a new bottle in the shower right now, and it smells amazing. Can you smell it, baby? Um, it smells so good, and it's so effective on my dry hair, and I really like it. Um, I tried the Whey Hair Oil because this was, um, I think, part of like one of the samples that I redeemed off of Sephora. I liked it. The smell of it was kind of meh, if I remember. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not my favorite, but I like the hair oil. My favorite hair oil of all time is actually currently in the bathroom, um, and it's the Orbe Gold Lust Hair Oil. I also really love the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dressers Invisible Oil. Also amazing. Also smells great. Um, another hair conditioner that I use in the shower is the La Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. I really like this, but again, it takes a lot for it to do anything to my hair, so, you know, as much as I like it, and I think you guys should definitely give it a try, for me, I don't think I'll be repurchas um, repurchasing this anytime soon. Um, another hair conditioner. <laughs> Can you guys tell that I need moisture in my hair? My hair is like the desert. There's just no moisture. It's just hot and dry. <laughs> um, this is actually not a conditioner. It's the Living Proof Restore Shampoo. Um, I really like this. I change between purple shampoo and regular shampoo. And sometimes when I use regular shampoo, I use this, but I'm constantly trying different ones. So yeah, let me know if you guys have a favorite. Um, this, however, is the Davines All-in-One Milk. And this I use as a leave-in conditioner as well. Um, I like this. I think this smells a little bit more potent than I like, but I really like the Davines brand. So I wanted to, oh, oopsies. So I wanted to um, give this a go. And it was good, but because you have to buy it off of the Davines website, it's a little bit annoying because you have to constantly buy from their e-commerce site. You can't just get it from Ulta or Sephora. Um, but I like this. Now, my all-time holy grail hair products of all time is this the Davines alchemic alchemic conditioner for natural and colored hair and it's the silver one and it's really just purple shampoo or purple conditioner but this this guys i've used up two of these in the past year i have another one in the shower i have another one as a backup I love this stuff. You have to buy it from the Davines website, but I love it. I think the first time that I bought it was actually from Amazon is why I found out about this brand. It is absolutely amazing for bleached hair. Um, when I went gray two summers ago, 
my hair was so dried out it actually right after I had it done it felt like rubber bands you could pull on it and it would bounce right back but not in the good way um, it didn't feel like hair anymore and I was very concerned about the integrity of my hair so once I tried this after two usages two usages two uses um, it transformed my hair it turned my hair back into real hair and although it's you know I still have struggle with the dryness because of how much I bleach my hair um, it is absolutely amazing so holy grail hair product hands down all right I think we're reaching the last hair product if I'm not mistaken so the last hair product that I have is the L'Oreal blow dry it quick dry primer spray cuts dry time heat protection I'm not sure if this actually cuts dry time or not I'll show you guys right here and I'll have everything linked um, down below I'm not really sure if this cuts down on dry time but it is amazing and it smells great so yeah I really enjoyed using this and it was cheap so hopefully it was good I use this in conjunction with a leave-in conditioner definitely don't just trust this to moisturize your hair after you get out of the shower all right moving on to the second thing that I've used up the most of which is skincare products now I'm like your typical Korean woman except I'm not Korean in that I use like 10 steps um, every night for my skincare routine I also use many steps in the morning too. Um, just have a lot of skincare products because as I've gotten older I've really realized how important it is to take good care of my skin and so because of that um, I've really focused on making sure that my skin is the best that it can be. Here are all the skin care products that I've used up in the past year. So starting off with some that are right next to me, um, the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Eyes, and Lips. I absolutely love this product. I actually have another one in my bathroom that I'm currently using. It's the one where you kind of have to shake it up to mix um, the top and the bottom ingredients together. And then I actually use the, the makeup remover um, the towels that they sell in Sephora. I actually just um, turn this upside down on one part of the towel real quick um, and then do another dot elsewhere on the towel and then I just apply the towel onto my eye and I hold it for a little bit and gently wipe my ma eye makeup away and it just completely dissolves my eye makeup even if it's waterproof mascara and just one swipe. It's amazing. Um, I will also say that I'm very careful with removing my eye makeup because I do have eyelash lifts. I don't know if you guys can tell. See these little babies just lifting? Um, because I get eyelash lifts, I don't really want to be too harsh on my lashes so that the lift and my lashes can stay on as long as possible. Um, so that I find this to be very gentle, very helpful, and I really love it. Another skincare product that I didn't use up, but sadly it actually kind of went bad is the smell doesn't smell the same anymore and so I don't want to chance it is the K Somerville gold milk goat milk now um, I've heard a lot of people say that this is like their holy grail skincare product and so I really wanted to give this a try I especially love that this has that funky like little pump that you can like press down and products will come up on top and you can just swipe and use it on your skin um, but I didn't really particularly love the smell um, and also I didn't find it too helpful on my skin so mm, if you're realizing why I'm not using my left hand it's because of the little one um, another skincare product that I absolutely love is the Murad hydro dynamic quenching essence now I've never used an essence before I used this and I received this as one of like the points that I redeemed on Sephora it is amazing. I don't really exactly know how it contributes to my hair. It's step two in the treat repair um, process for Murad, but it is absolutely amazing on my skin. It just makes, it almost feels like a primer, but once I put it on my skin, then I put moisturizer on top. Um, it just, my skin just looks great combined with this and Skin Ink's hydrating mask. Those two together is just magic. And I'm still using the Skin Ink. I actually used it last night because I had a photo shoot today. But yeah, this is amazing. Um, another one that I love is the Clinique All About Eyes Serum. So this puppy is amazing for days when you wake up. 
um, and your eyes just feel dry, which for me is most days. And I'll show you guys. It's like a roller ball, and you just roll it under your eyes the way that you would apply like any roller ball, and um, it's so cooling, which is my favorite thing about this. Um, and it also provides you know a nice serum and deep puffing eye massage roll on um, for your eyes. So I really like that, and I will be repurchasing this for sure. Another little sample that I used up is the La Mer, the Regenerating Serum. Love this. Bought a full size. No words. We don't need to say anything about that because it's amazing. Um, the La Mer Treatment Lotion is another one that I really like. I just haven't made the splurge to buy another one yet, but I really like this. Um, it kind of, I kind of replaced it um, or used it to replace my toner for the while that I did use it, and I really liked it. The Kors Green Greek Yogurt Nourishing Primer. I like this, but again, I took too long using it up and it started to smell weird, so I stopped using this. And I probably won't buy it because I think there are better primers out there for my skin. Um, the Clinique Moisture, Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortify, Fortifying Hydrator. This is really great. I really love this. Um, again, I have too many moisturizers that I'm trying out right now, so I probably won't repurchase for a while, but I really enjoyed this. This is the little pink one. Also use the Clinique Pepstar Eye Cream. Love this. I have the full size. I'm using the full size right now. Love it, love it, love it. This is so good for helping you wake up in the morning. And it's not thick, so it's great for um, using under your makeup. Um, the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I really like this. I think this is kind of similar to the first Aid Beauty, only in the fact that it's just a very basic, good moisturizer. There's nothing fancy about it. It's super hydrating. It does exactly what moisturizers should do. It moisturizes your skin, and it was great for using under makeup. So I used to use this in the morning because it's not too heavy. And on one of my Holy Grail skincare products, the La Mer Eye Concentrate, amazing. I use up this entire little jar um, and I have another backup, so I will be using that soon. All right, other skincare products. First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smooth Priming Moisturizer. This is a really great base for under your makeup. I combined this with Tatcha's sunscreen together um, and I really liked how that felt on my skin. It helped my makeup stay on too and it also replaced the need for an additional primer plus a moisturizer so you just use a priming moisturizer. It was really great but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase because I feel like I'm not cool enough to just use like not super fragranced like glossier type products. I feel like this is like for the girls that's got great skin, swipe it on, run out the door, and I, I don't know that I'm not I'm that girl. I wish I was. Um, one of my favorite skincare products of all times, I've repurchased this already, I'm using it right now, um, but this is the one that I used up, is the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Instant Fusion. I love the way that the Fresh Black Tea line smells, and so I love this toner. I actually don't use it on a cotton ball. I literally just pour it into my fingertips and just pat it on my skin. Um, I really love it. It claims that it protects and moisturizes. I mean, I love it. It's a glass bottle, so it's a little bit hard to travel with because it's quite heavy, but um, it's an amazing, amazing toner. I really like this so much, and I will continue to repurchase it over and over again. Another skincare product is the Naturopathica Lavender Honey Balancing Mist. So I get facials at Heyday, which is kind of like the millennial version of um, a spa for a spa for millennials. And uh, my facial is recommended this product because she used it on me. I really love how it smells. It's the mist that I mist all over my face um, at the end of my skincare routine. Uh, before I go to bed because of the lavender and the honey. It's just so calming um, And it's refreshing, but it's not like wake you up if refreshing It's more just kind of like soothing and I really love it I bought this off of Amazon and I definitely need to replenish this but right now I'm using Something else that I'm gonna show you so right now for morning and night I'm using the Mario Badescu skincare because Ulta had a sale and I couldn't help myself I bought like three of these and now I have too many of these 
This is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It's not the rose one, it's the green tea one that I believe is, or at least was, exclusive to Ulta. Um, I really like it. It's cruelty free, paraben free. I love Mario Badescu skincare, um, and I really like this spray for morning or night. It's super refreshing, and I really like it. But I will say, I think between that and this, I prefer this. This is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Treatment Lotion Mist. Same like usage, but I love how this smells. It smells like oranges, like happiness, happy oranges. It just smells so good. I love this product. Plus, sitting on my bathroom counter, it's just so like bright and happy, you know? <laughs> um, I really love this, so I will repurchase this after I'm done with my Mario Badescu ones. Um, another product that I used up is the Bosha Charcoal Deep Pore Cleansing Stick. Yeah, I put this in the shower, I travel with this. It's because it's in stick form, it's so easy to travel with and I literally just use this when I feel like my clog, my pores are being clogged um, and I really need a deep clean and that's when I use this and I really like it. Also used this, which I think is discontinued actually, the Ole, the Ol Hendrickson African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. Um, I used up this entire big bottle. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like nothing in, nothing in here anymore. And I think they discontinued it, so I actually can't buy this anymore. So sad, but I really liked it while it lasts. I actually really love the African Red Tea Mist. Well, that's what got me into this. So the foaming cleanser was great, but I think I actually prefer the mist. I really like the smell of African Red Tea though. And then I have the Estee Lauder Idealist Pore Minimizing Skin Refinisher. This is kind of like a primer, also a little bit like a moisturizer. Um, I used up all of this. Sadly, I can't scrape the size, as you guys can see, but um, it was a really good product and I really love it. I really like it a lot. This I didn't like as much. The Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. Um, I know that they have other products that they've come out that's targeted towards dark spots. For me, this didn't really work, even though it had amazing reviews, so it just must be like the bad marriage between this and my skin. Um, I didn't like it so much that I didn't really use it, and then it went bad because it was like years of me not using this. So this is still like a third of the way full at least, and sadly I just had to retire this. So that is all of the skincare products. And next we're gonna move on to makeup. Are you guys still hanging in there? I hope you are. This little one still is. <laughs> all right, makeup products. She's so bored. Do you guys want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> She's so bored. I love her. Um, okay, makeup products. Momo, do you want to go down? Okay, I think she wants to get done. So, one of my holy grail makeup products is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I've used up two of these already, and I'm currently on my third. I absolutely love this. Every time Sephora has a sale, I stock up on these because I go through them like crazy. This is absolutely amazing because I have oily skin and I really need to rely on a powder to help me control that oil and to not make it look cakey. This does exactly that. Love it, love it, love it. Can't say enough about it. Um, this is so funny. I don't know when I started using this, but I'm hooked and I haven't used any other eyebrow product since then. I tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow, the, the brow pencil that they're famous for, but it, I mean, it was okay. I didn't really love it. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, guys. This is like $3, five, I don't know how much it was. It was so cheap and I'm still using it. Um, I've used the dark before, I've used the medium before. I think I like the dark better, but I'm currently wearing the medium and I think it's fine too. This one I had to throw away even though I didn't finish all of it because it turned red. Like this one, even though it says medium, my current one is medium and it looks like this. This one is like a reddish brown. I don't know why. But the sucky part is it's an eyebrow kit and I actually don't use the eyebrow gel on the other side. So I only just use the eyebrow powder, but I really like it. And I go through these because I use that product. I go through the e.l.f. small angled brush or just any kind of angled, angled brush quite a bit. Um, 
because I use this to just quickly apply the powder onto my eyebrows. Um, and so right now I think I'm using a Sonia Kashuk one. I've had a bunch of other ones in the past, but I started using them and it's kind of like a toothbrush. Once it starts fraying, it's kind of when I decide to throw them away. All right, gotta love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in custard and Custard. I have it in macadamia too, but right now I'm actually too light for the macadamia. The macadamia has like a peach tone. The custard is very much a true yellow um, tone, and I really like it, and I think it fits really well no matter if I'm light or tan. And I've used up two of these. I'm currently using another one. Um, another repeat product that I love is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment Concealer. I have two of these. I've used up both of them. Um, they're great. I use the color, or actually I use the neutralizer. Um, and I really enjoy this. I just really use it like right under my eye um, and blend it in. And it doesn't, it doesn't create that weird like under eye white cast that you get in photos sometimes. Um, it's like the perfect neutralizer. I don't have really an issue with dark under eye. Um, knock on wood. But... I still really like this because it really does help brighten the eyes up. And I need to repurchase this because I haven't bought this yet. Um, the Dior Mascara, the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. This is kind of meh. I don't know. I didn't really love it. This is the brush. And honestly, I don't, I don't really know like if I found my Holy Grail Mascara yet. I keep trying a million different ones. It's like the dry shampoo. It's a never ending journey in finding the right one. I just want to find the right one, but I haven't yet. Um, I really like this mascara, the Roller Lash by Benefit. Um, it has like incredibly short bristles. I'm sure you guys have seen this like everywhere. Honestly, you, if you guys have found this video, you know, you know your stuff, you know your bloggers, you know your like um, makeup people, so you've heard of this, but I just wanted to say that I really like this as well. It helped kind of, because the bristles are so short, it helped me really get into my lashes. Um, so I like that. And I just used this up. This was a very recent use up product. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, for normal to oily skin. And I am in the color 128 Warm Nude. This is a great color match for when I was just a slightly lighter than I am now. Um, cause I recently just got a lot of sun a couple weeks ago, but this is a product recommended by Desi and Katie. I think both of them use, have used this at least, and they both really like this. They also both really like the L'Oreal one too. Um, but I loved this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Portless. I also love the L'Oreal one, so I'm still using that because I have like that in four different colors. I'm still not sure what color matches me the best, but this one from Maybelline matches me perfectly and or matched me perfectly and it really does what it says it really does make your skin matte and poreless sad thing is is that my skin is so oily so that in the middle of the day it always 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 turns into a big grease ball no matter what this is an old product from mark jacobs that i used up last year it's the invisible undercover perfecting coconut face primer i didn't use up all of it but it went bad because i think it sat out in the sun too long um but I mean, it smelled great, and it was it was great. I really like this. I used to use this in conjunction with the Marc Jacobs foundation that's also shaped like this, um, and I think it's one of the foundations that I've gotten the most compliment on because it does make your skin look so poreless. The thing is, is it was a little thick for me, so I'm not sure that I would repurchase um, either because, again, I think there's better primers out there. I'm currently using the Smashbox primer, like just the regular one, and I really like it. Uh, I still haven't found the best one yet, but I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. All right, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how crazy this is. So because I get so many samples from Sephora when I purchase stuff, never turn down a sample, a free sample. I have all this uh, fragrance samplers that I've used up because I actually use these. Um, I put these in a bowl and it actually really helped me use them up. So I've used up a lot of Jo Malone ones. Jo Malone, Blackberry and Bay. I've used up, which I love. I've used up the Dolce & Gabbana Floral Drops. I can still kind of smell it. I really like that. 
Oh, I really like the Michael Kors Gold. That was really good. The Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir, one of my favorite scents from Jo Malone, along with the Blackberry Bay. Um, the Escada, especially Escada perfume. I love this one. I don't know, Escada's like so old school, but I really loved it. The Givenchy Dahlia Devine. I think that one was okay. The Jo Malone Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I actually think I, yeah, I purchased the full size because of the sample. I really liked it. Um, Daisy Dream from Marc Jacobs. I love all things Daisy from Marc Jacobs. The Jo Malone Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. The Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. And then the Marc Jacobs Decadence. There's still a little bit in here. Oh, it doesn't come out anymore. I think I really like this one. Okay, well. And then the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom, one of my favorites as well from Jo. So that is everything. That was a lot of use of products. This is such a long video. Um, I had to stop and switch out memory cards already, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found this helpful. Um, I'll try to link links below to everything eh. um but i think it's really good to kind of look back and see how many products that i've actually used up um, and knowing that it was money well spent because i've really truly enjoyed the majority of these products and they've really um given me like better hair better skin um which i think is so important in you know taking good care of your skin and your hair and making sure that the the health and the integrity of both are kept so thank you so much for tuning in. Again, it's been so long, but it feels like old times and I really appreciate you guys watching. If you made it to the end, high five. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys hopefully, you know, shortly, hopefully not in like another year. Um, so yeah, enjoy your day and thanks for watching. Bye.